name is Rick Pasek, I'm a fly fish fanatic, and welcome to my tying bench. Uh, first off, I want to say, uh, you know, um, that uh, really thinking about everybody in, in BC at this time. Uh, I know they're having some uh, struggles there with all the flooding and all the roads washed out. And I got a lot of friends down there and a lot of uh, family down there and a lot of viewers. So I just wanted to say that, you know, we're, we're thinking about you and uh, hopefully you guys get through this. So, okay, today uh, we'll be tying a... Uh, it's a little concept fly that I came up with uh, last year. Fished it this year, did quite well with it. Um, I've tweaked it a little bit here and there. Um, but uh, it's basically a little, uh, really lightweight woolly bugger um, using some different materials than that's traditional with a woolly bugger. Um, and it, it, like I said, it worked really well for me this year, um, especially in any water under four feet. Um, and just right along the surface with a with a with a dry line, so it worked really well. Alrighty, so here we go. So in the in the uh, vice today, we've got a Hens BL three fifty four in a size eight. It's a one X strong, um, and it's a little bit of a shorter shank. Um, <clears throat> going to be using some Zemperfly Nano Silk and olive. I'm going to be using some um, uh, olive CDC. And I'm going to be using some, let's see if I've got enough here. Yeah, I think I, uh, I might have to get a new feather. Some grizzly dyed green. And that's, and, oh, and some uh, some uh, dubbing as well. And what I've done, I've made my own dubbing mix. I've taken the uh, the uh, new seals fur, or seals fur substitute, the Zemper seal, in the green olive there, that one right there. And I've mixed it with the rusty orange of the uh, capoc to get a little bit of that a little bit of that floatability to the fly um so to keep it up in the water column so okay here we go I'm gonna start my uh tying thread Let's bring her all the way back cut off my my waist here all the way back all the way forward again just to create a bit of a base there for the materials to stick to and then a little bit come back a little bit here i'm going to put a little bit of wax on just to hold these cdc so now what i've done is i've taken the tips of several cdc fibers that i've got just the little short little tips see that it, they're really short so they're really not good for for other things that I like doing with CDC. So I'm just going to use these as a bit of a tail. And I want about the length of the, the body. So about there. And I'm just going to shorten my thread here. Just going to tie this down. Like I said, and it's really want some wax on here because it can slip, right? So now I'm going to lift my tail up and go under it and over it. And that'll help hold it out. Not too, too worried about all this stuff, but let's get rid of it anyway, just for looks. And then just make sure it's all tied in nicely. Back up again. And back. Okay, now I do have to get up because I realized that it's going to be too big. So, sorry guys. Grab my green hackle. And then, so now I've got some green hackle. The one that I had there, this this piece that's left, it's gonna just be uh, a little too long, I think. Yeah, a little bit too long, so I'll go with a, another one here. I don't want it too, too long. Right, the hackle. Yeah, that's about it right there. So I'm just gonna make my tie end point. Shiny, shiny side out. I'm just going to bring this all the way forward. I'm going to stop with a little bit of room at the front here because I'm going to build a bit of a collar. Get that off. What I do with that, see, you've got some of those little scragglers there. What I like doing with that is I'll just back my thread off a bit. I'll grab my lighter and I'm just going to done it's out of the way then right so now I'm gonna go back to right behind right where the tail starts 
and I'm going to wax my thread. And then this is my mix that I've made. So it's got a little bit of the capoc in it and a little bit of the seals fur. So, and all I've done is just, just tore it all in one, like always in one direction, pull it out, stack it, pull it out, stack it, pull it out, stack it, pull it out, stack it. And that'll help mix that all together. So, and then I'm just going to take a piece and give that a, a dub on. You got to be patient with this stuff because Capoc dubs totally differently than the uh, Seals fur. So you just kind of got to be careful. Don't over play with it, I found. And I want a fairly thin body here. I don't want it too, don't want it too thick of a body. Just going to get a little bit more of that dubbing. Put it on and you see that I'm only doing a little bit at a time, right? A little tiny bit more. a bit make sure all that okay then take your feather one full wrap at the back and then open it up open it up open it up one full turn at the front walk it down okay take all that material and just stroke it back out of the way and lock that down so that's nice and tight and you and you want that little bit of, in the front there you want that swept back a bit of the hackle that last wrap i did i want that swept back just like that okay i don't want it sticking straight out like straight up i want that it swept back a bit so okay so now i've already prepared some cdc into my material clip so this is fairly long fibers, the longest fibers I had in my pack actually. So now I'm just going to do a, gonna unspin my nano silk and do a split thread technique here. Take my material clip and put it in. Just catch that in. Now I'm going to hold it nice and tight. Spin my bobbin. Give it another good, another good spin. Then I'm going to let it go slowly. Let that CDC get a good, nice and spun into there, nice noodle, right? Get that in there, nice and spiky. One more little spin, just to make sure they're in there. Shorten my stroke up, and then I'm just gonna wrap. And once I get to the CDC, stroke it back. Stroke it back, one right in front of the other. You want to use all of this up. That's one side of one feather on this one. So now I'm just going to just make a little head, not very big, just more than anything, just to tighten up, tie this all down. And then I'm going to get my whip finisher. Give that a bit of a whip finish. Nice and tight. <clears throat> cut off that excess oops cut off the thread sorry take my dubbing brush and I like using these cheap dubbing brushes they work really well and 
just give that a bit of a stroke out make sure all the CDC fibers are not trapped and there's your finished finished little CDC bugger um, like I said I really I, I started using this with the CDC as well as this Kapok blend um, I was obviously wasn't using the uh, Zemper seal because uh, we, this just came out like literally just came out a week ago um, but uh, I was using the I think it was Arizona semi seal um, and it was it was a it with, mixed with the Kapok and and done with this uh, CDC CDC gives lots of movement it's such a nice flowing uh, um, material. Um, the uh, the uh, Grizzly helps hold it out a bit and helps it uh, breathe when it's underwater. Um, and the CDC also captures a little bit of light and that little sparkle. You can even see it there. Each of those individual little fibers or catch that sparkle. And when it's underwater, it moves really well and looks really buggy. Um, and it helps it helps it float too as well as the, with the capoc right so this keeps when you when you've got it on a on a dry line it's uh, it, it just keeps this fly um, just below the surface you're only maybe three four inches below the surface depending on how quick you're stripping um, but uh, it, it was a excellent fly for me I think they're taking it for two things. Um, they're taking it for a damsel fly, and I think they're taking it for a minnow pattern as well once it gets wet. Let's just see if I can wet it for you guys. Right. So that's just not just with a little bit of saliva, so it'll obviously slip down even more once it's uh, really wet, right? But like I said that that CDC really likes it gives off that nice sparkle and that nice shine and moves really really well underwater and it uh, like I said the, uh, the the grizzly helps hold it out a bit and helps it breathe and pulsate so alrighty well I hope you guys enjoyed that one um, if you did give her a thumbs up if you've uh, um, subscribed thank you very much if you have not please consider doing so and we'll see you guys in the next tying video Ta lines.